Giggity. Giggity. <laughs> Lois, oh my gosh, hi! Oh, hi, Quagmire. What a surprise. I know, right? Gosh, I, you know, I was just picking up a couple of hams to take down to the shelter, and here I run into you buying food to make dinner for your husband. Uh, no, actually, Glenn, maybe you haven't heard, but uh, Peter and I aren't together anymore. What? Why? Oh, it's a long story. You don't want to hear about it. Oh, shut your face. I want to hear all about it. But listen, you know, I got all this shopping to do, so you want to stop by tomorrow night? I'll just whip something up? Well, sure. You know, that sounds nice, Glenn. Holy smokes, this is a sure thing. Like the end of a Mexican wedding. was a delicious dinner, Glenn. I didn't know you could cook. Well, when a fella's been alone as long as I have, he learns to take care of himself. Well, you're a very sweet friend, and you're so good to listen to my troubles. Oh, I could listen for hours, Lois. Whew, boy, you know, I don't know how a half a glass of wine got me so lightheaded. I better lie down. You want me to help you upstairs? Oh, my God, you are a saint! Uh, I, I think I can make it from here. I, I, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> 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 whoa whoops! Uh -huh. <laughs> Professor Klutz, the doctor is in. <laughs> oh, where's this heading? Oh, hiya, Brian. All right, Peter, now I know your head is still a blank slate, but you got to listen to me when I say... Wait, did you just call me Brian? Oh, yeah. You've got your memory back? Uh-huh. Happened yesterday on my way back from the grocery store. Hi, Peter. Hey, you just snubbed me in front of my own house. I thought we'd come to an understanding. Look, fella, I don't know who you are, and I don't want to, so why don't you just go back to your crabgrass? This happens to be fresh marathon sod. <laughs> oh, man, I just got my memory back. And as I recall, I don't really care for you. <laughs> Wait a minute, who are you? <laughs> hey, I know you. <laughs> What's your beef, stranger? <laughs> well, if it isn't my old nemesis. I was just lucky he had an odd number of objects. Why the hell didn't you tell anybody? Well, I figured I could enjoy the bachelor life for a few more days before getting Lois back. Well, you may have waited too long already. Lois is on a date with Quagmire, and you've got to stop her before something happens. What? Oh, my God, where is she? She's next door at his house. And you better get there quick, because with Quagmire, sex is inevitable. Like a fat guy ordering dessert when everyone else wants to leave. So, does anyone want dessert? Ugh, I couldn't eat another bite. No, I gotta get home for the sitter. I'll have those supply. That takes 45 minutes. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I can't believe we're doing this, but I gotta say, it feels kind of right. I know, it's so weird, right? I mean, it's, I mean, it's like fast. I mean, it's fast. But it feels like, okay, you know? I mean, like, isn't that crazy? It's like this adventure that we're having together. I know. That's exactly how I feel. I mean, it's a little strange, but if Peter's never coming back to me, it's at least nice to know I'm in the arms of a trusted friend. You... you trust me? Uh-oh. What? Is something wrong? I, I, I don't know. I'll be right back. Damn it! Lois! Peter! What are you doing here? I got my memory back, and I love you, Lois. I want you and the kids back. I want our old life back. <laughs> I don't believe it. Sweetheart, it's you. You're back. Ah, damn it! I'm back, Lois, and I'm sorry. I treated you so badly, but I hope you know it. It was only because I wasn't myself. I didn't just lose my memory. I lost my mind. Claire! <laughs> damn it! Oh, my God, Peter, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just overjoyed to have you back. Let's go home. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ah giggity giggity. Giggity goo. Stick around.